In the blue, Vika Kalalulu, he's in the red, and he comes out with a big left hook. It didn't land, but it looked good. This is a judges can pick up in the last 40 or so seconds. Well, you're quite right. I mean, if you, you can stand there and look as ferocious as you like, but if you're not throwing anything, nobody cares. But you see the way he's picked it up. Whatever, if you're ever going to do anything in a round, you do it at the end of the round. But it's I, got. I don't like the way that uh, Haro is standing with his head high, high. And he got caught with a right hand. The shorter man. Oh, good left hook. That hurt. Now he's right hand down. Vigalulu is just trying to set himself. He's going to launch himself from a mile away. I don't know. We go with the red corner. That's not because I think he did a little bit more. Okay. Well, there's nothing in it. That's what I'm nothing getting at. There's, nothing there's, in the, it. Uh, there's the Tongans. There's plenty, there's plenty of some. There's some counter punching here from Hurrell. But all those punches he threw then, none of them were scoring. But I suppose being a heavyweight, and you'd appreciate this, you could hit on your shoulder or on your arm or something, it does hurt. It does hurt, even, even with, a, with a jab. Mm. I like that. Vikalulu in the red corner. I've got the, uh, the red in front, and uh, my colleague has got the blue. But that's okay. There's nothing in it. There's nothing in it. So Vigalulu is now again reminiscing what he did in the first round. Just trying to get a good right hand. I, I, I just think he's throwing it from too far away. What? Hurl back to his corner. And again, well, you know, you, you talked about development programs of, of, the, of the games. I mean, this is one thing. He's got to be dressed properly. And he should have been at that attire. Remembering in a month's time, the Oceania champion fighting there with a chance of maybe, maybe going to the World Championships. Just, just, just pouring with that jab. He's not going to any, any uh, commitment behind it. Now, there's, no right. there's no power. It's too far away when I, as I was when I was boxing. You don't compare eras, but I'd be going in with two solid left jabs and get behind him. Get right into the jab was just there to so to launch his right hand behind it. Exactly, but you've got to get in there to, to be right. able to lance that bomb. The, again, nobody's taking an aggression here. Nobody's taking each other. You know, what I mean, they're not doing anything. There's a lot of dead air between them. Well, they're certainly not uh, Tongan and, and Fiji front rowers. Go the jab young and man somewhere. against the, a young man against an older man. Vigalulu is 29 years of age. And Harold 19, 20. But somebody, somebody has to take control very soon. Somebody has to do something. And now, the referee's done it again. Now, I'm not sure of the entire rule, but you can't keep going back to get dressed. You can't keep doing that. And I think they need to put some tape around their T-shirt to keep it down. Well, you're quite right, but that's the, that is the role of the corner. I thought so. So I definitely got the man in red. But that and may stir a bit of action from the man in blue. Oh, right. oh look at this. Just content just a slip. Well, he's in front. And Harold. I love to see him land with a straight right and left. If those two land, could if he could just land. Okay, what's he called? He's just going in and slipping the punch. He's not getting hit, but he's not doing that. Yeah, good punches there from Harold. The There's the round of belt too. So, the Tahitian. I, I would think that uh, Wuti Kalulu is. Uh, he hasn't done enough. I think the Thomas is uh, slightly ahead, but with the point being square one. Square one. No, that's a fair, okay. Fair comment. But if I look into the corner here now, the blue, now, why they haven't got a tape and put it around his waist without having to stop? Two words, experience. Well, I've got a couple of words, and I'll tell you about it later. So I look over here in the red, solid instructions Second, from the Fijian coach, and I think it'll be Thank go you. in, stay in, and keep this guy on the back foot. That's right, I think that's me. Vie Kalulu. Is moving forward as we suggested. 
Hurrell, smiling. Got the Ali look. Well, Woody Gollum needs to make his move with Afiki. He's a more experienced fighter. He can dodge. The obvious choice he can split, uh, slip those punches. He needs to make, to make, uh, make the tongue and pay for it. Well, you, you're right. He doesn't have any sting in his left hands. They're not, they're, not, they're not putting him back on his back foot. Either hand, either. either well, hand. You're, you're, no. He's a heavyweight. He's 91 kilos. I didn't think so. But the referee's closer than me. He's walking through him. We're into the last... Last round, last two minutes, we've already had one heavyweight fight. It was a terrific victory from the Tahitian. Today, Tahiti have already uh, started the role in the uh, first bout of the day in the lightweights. As Vigalulu starts to work, good right hand. Harrell's just standing there. I think it's like either guy thinks I've won the fight, they don't need to do much, but one needs to take it because it's a very even fight so far. Well, you're right. If you look at Harrell, you look, he's a. a a rabbit with the with the with the car lights on. You yeah, look at his eyes. I mean, when you're a fighter, you've been in the ring. You, that's what you look at. Vigalulu, he's not looking. He's just got his mind on his body. Look at him. He's got his head down. Vigalulu's doing everything right. He's not scoring. He's but not getting hurt, but he's not doing anything. Oh, hang on, hang on. That was a good little right hand, a little right over the top. Stamp on this fight. It's there for the taking. It is. It's there for the taking. There's Harrell with the eyes again. He needs to zero in. It can happen. Oh, and he did then. Hang on, he's in a bit of trouble. What's? He's put a cow on him. I think his arm. Didn't look like it to me. His arm. His well, the referee, there's only 15 seconds left to go. I think that initiative. The Vicalulu from Fiji this now. There it is. A fight that didn't live up to the expectations. I think I think that's a fairly good comment. Could you repeat that? One guy didn't want it and the other one didn't take it. The opportunity. The opportunity was there. So ladies and gentlemen, our viewers around Australia and the Pacific Islands, as we look at the, uh, the finishing of that third round, Fiji, in the red, Tonga in the blue. We've already had four fights this morning, this afternoon. New Guinea, what a fight that was. What a fight that was. Thaddeus Katua and Nulfa, the heavyweight Ladies winning. Let's go to the decision. Well, a split to the red corner. Who wouldn't take it? Well, that was a 2-1 decision. I'll just have a look at the scores. 30-26, 28 to 28 all, and Japan 30. But well, that's interesting, isn't it? That's it. Two judges give it the same, 30-26, 30-26, yet the German scores it. Well, there you go. There's our five fights for today. Player Wolfram and myself will be back tonight for the East Watt. Four middleweights to wrap up tonight's session of boxing.